Hey everybody, I got a really cool video. Something we're going to be talking about today is using some of these old blue Ryobi tools and pairing them with a new battery and we're going to see how they work. If you've watched some of my other videos, I've had this set of tools for many years and I stopped using them because, to be honest, they were terrible, especially paired with these NICAD batteries. And uh, I started using the new line of Ryobia just a couple years ago and when that happened I started using the uh, new lithium batteries. One of the things that I found that I initially didn't know is that the uh, newer batteries fit the old tools and one day I just tried it and it worked. To my amazement uh, I then felt like I just got a bunch of free tools. Um, yeah, I paid for them a long time ago, but um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take some of these old NICAD batteries right here and you know we're going to talk about them. I'm going to try them on the tools and we're going to test to see how that battery compares to this battery. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well those batteries are really old. Uh, we know that they're not going to perform as well as the new lithium batteries. However, what I'm going to—I just want to show the comparison, and uh, to give a little bit of the experience that I had with those batteries. And then, if people have some of these old tools sitting around in their garage or shed somewhere, maybe uh, you'll get some good uh, information out of this video that will motivate you to pull them out and maybe buy a couple of the batteries and a charger, uh, or just one of the batteries and a charger, um, and that may change your mind. So, without further ado, what I first want to talk about is the batteries. Okay, talking about the batteries, uh, I think really the two that look the most similar is the uh, lithium 18 volt, 4 amp hour, uh, new Ryobi battery. This is a P108 and the battery that I originally had is a P100. Now looking at the information on this battery I actually cannot find an amp hour so I looked up this battery and it was roughly 1700 uh, mAh uh, milliamp hour so that is right around uh, 1.7 amp hours. So as you can see, with a 4 amp hour battery and a 1.7 amp hour battery, comparison lithium and NICAD, could you imagine what this battery would look like if it were 4 amp hours? <laughs> it would, that would be pretty crazy to see. Um, but uh, similarly looking, dimensions are very similar. Now if we compare it to the 3 amp hour HP, uh, they're roughly a little bit the same but the 3 amp hour is smaller and um, lighter and we have the 6 amp hour uh, HP battery here's something about this the HP batteries if you're going to invest in batteries for these old tools you might as well just go with a straight 4 amp hour uh, P108 battery the reason why is uh, these batteries are intelligent. They actually talk to the brushless tools, whereas you'll get no additional benefit if you buy these batteries for these older brushed tools. Uh, rather, just get straight uh, battery capacity and uh, use these batteries. Uh, first, let's just try an ICAD. And like I said, circular saw, all I want is one cut. That's it. If I can get one cut through this uh, 2x8, I'll be very satisfied. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you a close-up of it. And um, yeah, let's, see how it, let's see how it does. Okay, so... So the battery is already dead. Um, that's all that this could muster. 
I do have one more battery, and I'd like to just give it a go. Okay, so again, both batteries, I left them on the charge for a while. Uh, they have charged uh, all the way to what they can charge. And yes, these batteries are old, and do I expect them to uh, perform at what they were when they were new? No, I don't believe that uh, <laughs> that would be fair. But just to show, I, I only have... It, no, it didn't even cut anywhere close to what I needed it to. So what I'd like to do now is go ahead and use one of the 4 amp hour batteries. And let's see if we can make a cut. Okay, so as you can see with the new battery, uh, the machine here, the tool, is a completely different tool. It's able to do the job. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it does it well because it is only a five and a half inch um, blade, but we were able to make it through and that's really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and use the jigsaw. For this, we're going to use a 1x4. I think that'll represent uh, the jigsaw pretty well. And we're going to leave the setting on 3. And let's just see how it cuts through this wood. You know, let's just do one more cut. Now I pressed on that one a little bit to see how fast it would go through. Uh, again, it worked just like a charm. I had no issues with it. Uh, let's go ahead and try the saws off. All right, let's go ahead and uh, use our grinder and let's cut a piece of metal. So I hope seeing these old blue Ryobi tools has been helpful to you and maybe motivate you if you have some of the old ones to start reusing them again by investing in uh, some of the lithium 4 amp hour batteries. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, stay blessed everyone.